This week our adventures take us here to San Francisco, one of the most scenic cities in the country. A city rich in history, art, architecture, and incredible views. And believe it or not, you can also RV here. Let's explore San Francisco. Good margarita. <laughs> There are beautiful cities, and then there is San Francisco. Pretty hard to beat in terms of scenics within the continental U.S. And yes, you can drive the rig across the Golden Gate Bridge, but just be careful about trying to drive downtown or negotiate those incredible hills, like the famous crookedest street in the world, Lombard Street, for example. You know, you gotta wonder about the people that actually live on Lombard Street, having this constant parade every day, going by their garage and their front door. It's gotta get old. There's so much to this city. Fisherman's Wharf, Alcatraz, Chinatown, Haight-Ashbury, and the great shows and nightlife. It just goes on and on. There's a reason, after all, why Tony Bennett left his heart here. It can also be an expensive city to visit, but it doesn't have to be. In fact, there are many free things to do right here. So like this, this is free. This is free. Yeah. The beach is free. The beach is free. The view is free. The view is free. Golden Gate Park, that's free. We went through, oh yeah, we went through Golden Gate Park too, yeah. Yeah, well Definitely. that's great. A lot of free things then to do in an expensive city. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. The view from the highest point of the city on Twin Peaks is on the top of the must-sees in San Francisco. You'll run into many visitors from around the world up here, especially now with the favorable international exchange rates. The houses are basically row houses, but each one has different style, different elevation. Mm -hmm. So this is something very interesting. So it doesn't look monotonous. So there is uniqueness in this diverse architecture that we see over here. You sound like an architect. I am an architect. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> when you're in San Francisco, ride the world famous cable cars. The cable cars have been around here since 1873 and are truly part of the unique San Francisco scene. They're also a very efficient way to see the city. $3 for one ride or $9 for an all day pass. And that makes a whole lot of sense if you are parking the rig outside of town. You can do your own walking tour of the city or hook up with one of the many guided tours that offer various ways to see all or part of San Francisco. Who's the group leader here? <laughs> One None of our of guys no? said he wants to find good margaritas. Where is that, by the way? Good margaritas. I just like the way you say it. Good margaritas. Wait till I had a four or five. Oh, then, then they really talk Southern. If you have never driven across the Golden Gate Bridge, it should be on the list. But be prepared to shell out five bucks. That's right, five bucks. But you only have to pay going into the city. It's free to leave. And that's good because you might not have much left after the visit. Over 100,000 vehicles cross the bridge every day. At five bucks a head, let's see, that's a half a million a day. I'd say they're doing pretty well with that bridge. Back in the city, you'll find that most of the main sites are located in one section of San Francisco, bordered by Van Ness Avenue and Market Streets. Think of it as a big slice of pie. Here's a great entertainment intersection here in the city of San Francisco. Behind us is the area of North Beach with a lot of great Italian restaurants. Over here is the entertainment district of Broadway. Two blocks in that direction is Chinatown. And just a block down the street is the legendary City Lights bookstore. City Lights prides itself on being the voice of this independent city and demonstrates that every day with the banners that hang outside. Just around the corner from City Lights is Chinatown. And the best way to see the area is on foot. That's the only way, because the traffic is very slow, one way, and in order to see all the history, the architecture, smell the food, and hear all the music and the sounds, the only way to do it is by foot. And we have a playground over here behind yes. us, and also this is the area where in the morning at dawn, people come to do their Tai Chi exercises. That's right, and Qigong, yes. which is more for the elderly. It's not as strenuous. And I guess I so. missed that this morning because at dawn, uh, well, I was fast asleep. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow I can do that. Right. <laughs> this is also a great place to pick up some fun gifts for those back at home and stop for a little dim sum lunch after all the walking you've done. Oh, delicious. You know, I love these guys. I love the pot stickers. Oh, right. We have that, too. I can on feast on menu. those all day yes. long. Yeah. If you pick up the cable car in Chinatown, you can be at Fisherman's Wharf and Pier 39 in just five minutes. And if you've called ahead for reservations, you can make the next boat to Alcatraz. But make sure you have that reservation. It's a popular tour. 
and then get ready for more walking. Up the incline to reach the main building, and then through the cell blocks that house some of the toughest inmates in the federal system from 1934 to 1963. Guys like Al Capone and Machine Gun Kelly. There is the requisite picture inside the cell, and also make sure to keep track of the time. You don't want to miss the last boat off the island. Otherwise, you'll get a real feel for what it was like to be housed here. We met our viewers all around San Francisco. Some were actually driving the city streets, but most had set up camp at an ideal spot south of the city along the ocean. We'll show you that park a little later in the program. Right now, it's time for dinner. And in San Francisco, that means a choice of virtually anything. And that includes the historic John's Grill, just off Union Square. They've been serving up their delicious steak dinners here since 1908. It's a popular spot for locals and out-of-town guests, and has been the favorite hang for writers over the years, like Dashiell Hammett, who included John's as a location in his famous Maltese Falcon. After dinner, San Francisco has nightlife for anyone's taste, like Beach Blanket Babylon, the nation's longest-running musical review. They work my nerves and they rattle my brain. Those Democrats drive me insane. One thing is for sure, now I'm the governor. Goodness gracious, Arnold's on fire! The show features a fast-moving lineup of pop culture characters like Martha Stewart, Oprah Winfrey, and Elvis. The city of San Francisco has so much to offer, from the sophistication of Knob Hill to the shops of Pier 39. And you can easily get away from the city with a walk or a boat ride in the extensive Golden Gate Park. And if you plan a few extra days into the schedule, the wineries of Napa Valley are just an hour north. And the big added bonus for our viewers on a San Francisco visit, there is an amazing park just 20 minutes south of the city. We'll show you that a little later in the show. <laughs> 